Hi everyone, my name is Steven and today I'm going to quickly show you how to add authentication and authorization to a MongoDB server in the form of a admin user account. Because by default, MongoDB doesn't have authentication enabled and we of course don't want anyone to just access and alter our data. So on the right hand side, we already have our Mongo server running using a Mongo config file and we will now connect to this MongoDB server using a Mongo client. So currently it connects to localhost and you can see that we can execute some commands, which is what we try to avoid. So what we should do now is add a new user to this database. So we will change to the database admin using the command use admin. So we have switched to DB admin. And for this uh, database, we will be executing the following command, which can also be found in documentation. So we will be creating a new user. This user will be called admin and the password admin. It might be better to take another user uh, name and another password, of course. We will be adding two roles. So the user admin for any database and the retry to any database. So there exist many other types of roles which can be applied in different use cases. And for example, for any database, you might have another user with other permissions and so on. But these things can be found in the documentation. And for today, we just want to add simple authentication and authorization using an admin account. So if you would execute this command, you can see that we have added our new user. If you would try again, so if you would exit our Mongo and reconnect and execute the command, we can still do it. So no authorization or authentication is still required. So we need to change something in the, um, in the configuration files. So what we do next is we'll stop our server, so our Mongo server, and we'll change some settings in the configuration file. So to do nano, so I'm using nano to edit our configuration file. So if you go down a little, you will see the commented security tags and I've added already some of the parameters that uh, we should enable. So for this tutorial, I will do a set parameter of enable local host authentication bypass. So for this case, if the client connects from local host, it will be automatically authenticated. But for, for our tutorial, we just want to disable this. This might also be an interesting thing in the real world scenario, even if they have access to your machine, they still cannot alter your database without a username and password. But more importantly, we want to, of course, add a security option which enables author authorization. So we are going to write out this file and restart our Mongo server using, of course, this config file. Okay. The settings seems correct. So if you would try to reconnect to our MongoDB locally, we can see that we have connected. But if you would try to execute any ex any command, we can see that this command list databases that we just executed requires authentication. So what to do now? We need to connect using a, a username and password and define uh, which authentication database is, is being used. So instead of doing just Mongo, we will specify a username, so admin that we have created, and a password using uh, P, and then admin. Furthermore, what we also should add is a authentication database to save, to say uh, with database, uh, we are authenticating to, so we will be authenticating to the admin database. So if I've typed any, everything correctly, we should be connected again. And if I'm executing show DBS, we are allowed to execute these types of commands. So this was a basic tutorial to show you how to add a simple user account and authentication. You have many other types of roles and options and many more users can be created. But in many cases, if you have, if you're just writing a simple application and you don't want anyone to access your data, you want to have some form of admin account. And this is what this tutorial has done. So thank you for watching and bye.